What's going on guys? Waxcracker coming at you. Um, as promised during yesterday's break, I have a mail day for you. Um, decent number of packages here. Let me swing the camera over. And uh, that's what we got waiting for us. Um, should be all boxes today. <coughs> so um, let's just get cracking into it. This is about two weeks worth of stuff here. Um, I didn't do a mail day last weekend. I was waiting for everything to show up. And also, like I said yesterday, um, first package here. Um, kind of wish maybe I did do one last weekend when I had a couple boxes because this is going to be a big one. Um, so, it might take a little bit. Anyway, here we go. First box. We have a okay, nice box of 1997 select. <coughs> sorry, guys, Pinnacle Select Baseball High Series. Um, kind of cool looking cards. This was the last year for Select under Pinnacle. Um, I've been looking for a box of this at a decent price, finally got one, so I got this, um, yeah, pretty much it, um, next package, I know there was a 97 Pinnacle Select and, um, Pinnacle Select High Series, I did get a box of each, the other one should also be in this break, I want to say the regular Pinnacle Select. Um, the initial release had some autographs in it. Um, I know it had an Andrew Jones rookie autograph um, potential of pulling. It's a 90s autograph, so I'm sure the, um, the odds of getting it are astronomical. But yeah, that's about all the info that I have off the top of my head. And um, this box is being a pain to open. The guy definitely did a great job of taping the crap out of this one. So, bear with me while I hack away at this, hopefully without damaging anything inside. There we go. Oh man, this is brutal. Brutal, brutal. Let's try the other side here. How about that Devin Booker last night? 70 points of all the guys in the NBA that you would have thought to have scored 70 points this season. How many people do you think would have said Devin Booker? Talented player, but man, good for him. Congrats, dude. Wrench is letting me down. That's two breaks in a row, man. You're about to get fired. All right, and like I just said, I have no idea what's in these boxes, so I'm just kind of opening them in from top to bottom. This is the um, initial release of 97 Pinnacle Select. So, there you go. Initial and series two. I got both for real good price. Typically, I'm seeing both for like 40 50 bucks each. I think I paid that combined for the two of them, maybe even a little less. Um, yep, and there that is um, what I was talking about before. Look for authentic autograph, rookie autographs featuring Andrew Jones. Not planning on it, probably won't even open those, but cool. Next box. This one's definitely a little heavier here. Try not to show my address. Probably just saw it. It's cool. Um, got the Gonzaga Xavier game on right now. Hoping for an upset. Um, like I said in my earlier video, my team's out. So kind of rooting for the underdogs. Um, still a lot of time left. We'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay. Huge, huge fan of this set. Um, this product as a whole. I got a couple boxes of gold label baseball. This year's the first one. I got a really, I don't know, I was on a really good streak this week on eBay. I'm um, getting boxes of stuff that I had wanted, but had not been wanting to pay what I've been seeing. So I got some good deals. So 2000 gold label. Um, I just like the design of this stuff. It's like 
super classy, kind of reminiscent of that Select Certified set from the mid-90s, as a lot of you know that I'm a huge fan of. Um, plus, all the cards have kind of that refractor look to them. So, yeah, definitely pretty excited to get a box of that. Um, the next pack is just going to keep on rolling, guys. Oh, I hate it when they do this. They got the box inside the bubble mailer. All right, it's, it's cool. I get it. They're trying to make sure it's well protected. So I appreciate that. I take that back. I don't hate it. It's just a little annoy annoying when you're trying to open, but it's worth it. All right, what do we have in here? See, everything's kind of falling into place here. We're getting one and fouling it up with the other. 2002. Tops Gold Label Baseball. Um, I don't like the 2002 design as much as I do the earlier ones. Um, 2002 was Topps' last um, initial, in the initial run, their last um, contribution to the series until um, 2000, what was it, 2016's Topps Gold Label came out. Um, but still cool, still still really classy, still got that refractor look, still a super high end looking thing, so went for it. And our last box here, um, cannot remember for the life of me what else should be in here, so let's see. And these are all things that are probably just going to be added to the unopened box collection, at least for the immediate future. Who knows what I'll decide down the road. Um, that unopened box collection is definitely getting a bit out of hand, so I'm trying to crack open some of the, um, the less rare stuff, the stuff that I would have in Easter time letting go, just so you guys can see it. Okay, yeah, I can't believe I didn't remember this one. Okay, cool. So, um... Big fan of Elite. I have a couple boxes of 1997 Dunruss Elite Baseball. I've never seen a box for this on sale on eBay before. This is 1998 Elite Baseball. Got it just to add to the collection, um, add to the series. Um, yeah, that was that was really awesome. So, a little crazy with the um, packaging on this. Hopefully that's not a bad sign of searching. Anyway. Um, as a bonus with this, he did include, taped inside of some, uh, newspaper here, a blaster box of 2011 Tops Allen and Ginter, which I will definitely be opening on video. Um, I very rarely buy blasters from the store. I'm not a huge fan of retail, some of you may or may not know that, but, um, There it is. Top Allen and Ginter baseball. Um, I do like Allen and Ginter. I like, I am a fan of the, uh, the older school products. Um, and by that I mean the, the stuff that kind of has the throwback design, the minis, things like that. I'm like 99% sure this is 2011. Nope, 2010. Sorry. 2010 Allen and Ginter. Um... I like the minis, I like the, the, the old style types of cards. Um, I bought a few boxes, hobby boxes of Alan Ginter in the past. I just, I think it's overpriced. You get, what, two or three hits. I want to say three hits per box, but an autograph isn't guaranteed. Those are typically falling one in every three boxes. So, I don't get it because... Even after it drops, it's still in the seventy to eighty dollar price range, and I just can't. I know there's short prints. I know you can get plates. I know you can get those rip cards, but I just can't justify spending seventy to eighty dollars on a box if I'm just gonna pull three relics, which has typically been my experience with the product. That's just me. Um, a lot of people love it. It's it's super cool. It's super popular. It, I just can't justify spending that much money. Anyway, so that's what we have. That's our mail day for the day. Um, 
I'll have some more videos coming your way. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and as always, get cracking.